Dear viewers, a very good day to all of you. Here is the brief overview of the corona pandemic that the entire world is currently battling with. This has been prepared by the students of Group 9, Batch 2019, Alami Medical College, Bijapur. Beginning with, what is coronavirus? Coronaviruses are a family of viruses among which the SARS-CoV-2 is known to be the youngest in the whole family. They are named after their crown-like appearance and are known to cause illness to animals and humans such as the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. The virus is thought to have originated in animals before infecting humans. The first known human infection appeared in China. According to the official Chinese sources, these were mostly found in the Huanan seafood wholesale market, which also sold live animals. Whereas the Wuhan wet market provided an opportunity for such a deadly virus to travel through many hosts to reach humans as a result of stacking of different animals one over the another for sale, giving the virus a passage to jump through the host to reach the human body via consumption. As there is some evidence of the transmission of the virus from bats to pangolin before infecting humans. The worldwide outbreak of COVID-19 has brought the world to an absolute standstill, affecting more than 213 countries and territories around the globe. The data map reported by World Health Organization as of 29th of July 2020 showed around 181,000 newly infected cases and unfortunately 655,000 deaths. Whereas in our country, India, the scenario seems a little different due to the dense population. India has reported more than 1.6 million cases and more than 35,000 deaths since the last month. Structurally, the coronavirus is an enveloped positive sense single-stranded RNA of size 30 kilo base belonging to the family Coronaviridae, distinguished as four genera, namely Alpha Cov, Beta Cov, Gamma Cov and Delta Cov, out of which the Alpha and Beta Cov are found to infect humans. The virus has been observed to bind to the host angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor, thereby penetrating into the host cell, sending off its single stranded RNA into the nucleus of the host cell for replication, after which the new viral particles are released. The mechanism of this infection has been studied as follows. Once a person inhales the cough or sneeze droplets present in the surrounding air, the virus gains an entry into the human body, soon after which the symptoms begin to appear. Lungs tend to be the organs most affected by COVID-19, where the virus causes swelled up alveoli leading to reduced airflow, hence respiratory failure. In severe cases, a ventilator can offer the best chance of survival as the ventilator takes over the patient's breathing process, providing the patient with little time to fight back the infection and recover. The most common symptoms include fever, dry cough, fatigue and sore throat, whereas the severe symptoms include shortness of breath and chest pain. Often symptoms of COVID-19 are confused with that of common cold and flu. Hence, knowing the rare ones such as sneezing and diarrhea is important. The tests for COVID-19 include the molecular tests, also known as reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction tests, that tells us the presence of an antigen with a specificity of 80 to 85%. The serologic test, on the other hand, determines the proportion of population that has been infected, who has been infected and who could be immune to the virus as well. Some of the others include enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, nasal aspirate test and the sputum tests. For the first time, vaccine trials in India were initiated by Bharat Biotech Hyderabad with Ames Patna enrolling 18 healthy volunteers and Zydus Kedala starting the human trials as well, alongside Serum Institute of India overseeing the production of the vaccine. Whereas the initial worldwide trials were done in the University of Witwatersrand, South Africa, the Jenner Institute, University of Oxford and the Emory University. 
Very well said is that prevention is better than cure. The best we all could do for the time being is to take care of ourselves with some simple steps as wash your hands with soap frequently, cuff into your elbow rather than the atmosphere, prevent touching your face often, maintain safe distance among yourselves and stay home. Last but not the least, we can't forget the role played by the COVID-19 warriors during this pandemic. A heartfelt thanks to all the healthcare workers standing on the front line of this pandemic. Our incentive address to all would be, everything will be okay in the end. It might be stormy now, but the rain does not last forever. Do note that nobody saw this pandemic coming and maybe you are as well feeling a bit under the weather hope this much of time has made us to adapt to this new situation and accept it. Stay safe, stay home, stay productive and stay connected. Thank you.